Welcome to aptitude concept videos. Time, speed and distance. Let's look at the problem based on constant distance or constant time. A cyclist travels a certain distance in 6 hours at uniform speed. In return he increases his speed by 2 km per hour and covers the same distance in 5 hours. What was his speed initially? So this is the starting place and this is the ending place. So he is moving from A to B. So from A to B he covers the distance in 6 hours. From B to A he covers this distance in 5 hours. So it means distance is same but the time taken to complete from A to B is 6 hours and B to A is 5 hours because he increases the speed by 2 km in the return journey. So if the speed is S1 in the first scenario here S1 plus 2 will be the speed. So because he increases the speed. So in this scenario both the distance is equal. So A to B is equal to B to A. So it means D1 equal to D2. So we know speed equal to distance by time or distance equal to speed into time. Distance equal to speed into time. So directly substitute the value. We know S1 into T1 equal to S2 into T2. So what is the value of what is the speed? We don't know. S1 into time taken is 6 hours which is equal to what is S2? S2 is the return speed that is S1 plus 2 into what is the time taken to complete it is 5. So simplify this equation 6 S1 equal to 5 S1 plus 10. So if you simplify you will get S1 equal to 10. So it means the initial speed is 10. So you can get the answer directly. So if your question is what is this return speed it will be 12. So answer answer based on the question. Let's look at one more problem based on constant distance. A student walks to school at the rate of 2.5 km per hour and reaches 6 minutes too, too late. Next day he increases his speed by 2 km per hour and then reaches the school 10 minutes early. So what is the distance of school from his home? Let's understand the problem first then we'll try to solve. We have a shortcut technique to solve this problem. Before that, we'll understand the problem. So consider the school time is 10 a.m. A student walks to school at a rate of 2.5 km and reaches 6 minutes too late. It means he is reaching at 10, 6 if he walks at the speed of 2.5 km per hour. So the next day, he increases his speed by 2 km. It means 2.5 plus 2. So next day he is walking at 4 km, 4.5 km per hour and reaches the school by 10 minutes early. It means he reaches the school by 9.50. So this is the concept of problem. So the question is what is the distance of school from his home. So we have a shortcut to solve this type of problem. So the shortcut is D that is distance equal to time difference into speed 1 into speed 2 divided by difference between speed 1 and speed 2. This S1 minus S2 if S1 is greater. Okay. So directly substitute the value here. You will get the answer. So what is difference in time? So if he walks by 2.5 km he reaches at 10.06. If he walks at 4.5 km, 4 km per hour he reaches at 9.950. So the time difference between these two is 16 minutes. So we have to include that value here. 16 minutes into what is the speed 1? 2.5. What is the speed 2? 4.5 divided by the difference between these two. S1 minus S2. So here S2 is the greater value. We have to subtract S2 minus S1. So 4.5 minus 2.5 equal to 2. So in this scenario we have to consider this 16. So here 16 is in minutes but other values 2.5, 4.5 is in kilometer per hour. So we have to convert the 16 to hour. So if you want to convert the minutes to hour just divide this by 16 or you can simply write 16 into 2.5 into 4.5 by 60 into 2. So if you simplify you will get the answer directly. It will be 1.5 kilometer. So make sure you are converting this 16 to hour. 16 is in minutes. You have to convert the 16 to hour. So I am dividing it by 16. 
then substitute the value in this formula. Make sure this shortcut is applicable only to these type of problem. Let's move on to the third, third problem. A thief spots a policeman 100 meter away and, turns and takes his heels. It means he started to running. If the policeman gives a chase immediately, then how far would the thief have run before he is overtaken? The speed of thief and speed of policeman are 8 km per hour and 10 km per hour respectively. So before solving this problem, let's understand the concept. Now consider thief is standing here and policeman is standing here. The distance between them is 100 meter. If the policeman gives a chase immediately, then how far the thief have run before he is overtaken? So when they started to run, they are consider they are moving in this direction and the thief is caught at this place. So T and policeman is meeting at this place. So policeman is standing here, thief is standing here, thief started to run toward this direction. Again policeman is chasing. So assume they are meeting at this place. T and P is meeting here. So we need to find uh, what is the what is the question? There is the speed of thief and policeman. So we need to find the distance between thief starting place and this TP. So assume the distance between these two point is D. Then what is the distance between these two point P to TP? It will be D plus 100 meter. The policeman is standing at 100 meter behind the thief. So it means D plus 100. So in this case the time taken by the policeman to reach from this point to this point is equal to the thief time taken by the thief to reach from this point to this point. So it means the time taken is same because they started to run at the same starting time. So time taken by the police equal to time taken by the thief. So time equal to we know distance by speed distance covered by the police by speed of police equal to distance covered by the thief by speed of the thief. So substitute the value here. What is dp? It is d plus 100 by what is the speed of police? It is 10 km. Here what is the distance covered by thief? It is d. Here and solve it 8 km per hour. So simplify this equation and you will get d equal to 400. So the thief has run 400 meters uh, before the police overtake him.